Back to the left point, Poplowski. He'll ring the puck in off the left corner boards behind the cage. Gila out there for RPI. He fans out of Pruko with a stuff, and he scores! It's a power goal for Nick Prokow, and it's one to nothing Colgate. A playoff goal, what I meant to say, but Prokow with a quick stuff after LaBeouf got hammered behind the net. And Nick Prokow gives Colgate a one to nothing lead a minute and 51 seconds into the hockey game. Colgate strikes so quick it even caught me off guard, and Prokow was fifth of the season. Puts the Raiders out on top, but again, really it started. Gila LaBeouf was behind the net. Ryan Day ran into him. Nick Prokow took the puck. And York got beat, it looks like, through the five hole. It just squirted under his left leg pad. Back underway, Thomas Larkin. Went. Boss, blue line drive, wide left. Cullen tried to walk off the wall. Day knocks him down. Now Day taken down from behind, head first into the boards. Day went down hard. McPherson's going to go after the player that hit Day. And this is going to evolve into an all-out fracas. McPherson locked up with the RPI player that took down Day. And Corbin might have just, unfortunately, washed away a Colgate power play. It's a two-on-one. In left wing sideboard on shoot, save made by York. Day sent sprawling into York. And now York's gonna go after Day and shove him down to the ice. Day had been shoved into York. York took exception, Day was lying on the ice getting up, York came out of the goal and shoved him. And Day is furious with the officials and it looks like a penalty will not be called here. Mike Bergen trying to get over to Brian Day and have a chat with him. The officials get a screening day as he goes to the bench. And how is that not called a penalty? I'm not very sure, and Don Vaughn wants an explanation from Chip McDonald as well. Kevin Graber talking to Kevin McNamara at the RPI blue line. This one's been feisty, kind of reminiscent of that Clarkson series a couple of years ago where we had two nearly all-out fracases in game number two, couple of spears, I remember. Cullen of RPI. Greg Bergdorfer dumps in, good chances there for Colgate, but nobody was able to get a shot off, and going down hard is Lark in the left wing corner. He is shaken up, and now Price going after O'Grady, or Prokow rather, going after O'Grady. He ran into him, and O'Grady's gonna go to the box as Larkin went down and heaped the left wing corner, and hopefully he is okay. Larkin slow to get up, O'Grady this time goes to the box of the borderline hit. Last time it was let go, this time it's not, and Steve Schwinnard, the trainer off the bench with 447 gone by in the second. And this time it's Seth Appert's turn to come down to the dasher at the RPI bench in front of the players and voice his case here. And he is leaning out over the bench door as Chip McDonald gives the penalty call to the PA announcer. And it does not look like Kevin Graber nor Chip McDonald want to go ahead. Midpoint Kevin McNamara, a drive deflection save made by York. Rebound kipped right to Breeze Watt, bounced over his stick. Kevin McNamara knocks down Palachik in the neutral zone. Lee with a one-on-one, now a two-on-one. Palachik shoots and scores. A shorthanded goal for the Engineers, ties it up again. It's Chase Palachik instigating the play right there. And Mahala kind of dove out to try and block the deke. Instead, he got faked right out of his shorts, and Palachik backhand of the puck into the empty net. And the game is tied at one, a shorthanded goal. Again, the Raiders never really could get set up, and then they got caught with too many men on the wrong side of the ice. And now Don Vaughn instructing. Down on the bench, Palachik there, deking Mahalik basically out of his shorts. One-to-one one the score, and the fans now whipped up into a venomous frenzy here after calling for the official's head while the play was going after a moment. One-to-one one the score, Colgate out of its own zone. Now Day coughs the puck up and neutralize. Andres Goulet blasts it right at Mahalik. Colgate needs to stem the tide right here. Lost it to Lee, gets it right back. Poplowski angles in right down the middle, shoots! It's off the crossbar, the score! Francois Brisebois gives the Raiders a 2-1 lead. Poplowski sent a blistering blast off the crossbar, the rebound to Brisebois, and the French Canadian hammers it home to give Colgate a 2-1 lead. 10.44 to go in the second. What a rocket there from the senior out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. That one had a full clipper system right behind it, though we do know those come from Alberta. 10.44 to play in the second. Colgate's got its lead back. The initial shot by Poplowski was immediately waved off by Chip McDonald. He had a great angle on the play. RPI wins the faceoff right back in. Wagner breaks things up. Kennedy surfs the puck back in. Knocked down by Kennedy. And uh, Nasca right in the midst of it for Colgate. Again, the Raiders, that's not what they need at this point. And you can bet young Mr. Daska will get a talking to when he gets back to the bench with 8.34 to go. Palacic, Colgate is going to look to clear the zone. 
Bordon leads Mayer on ahead. Mayer's got to step on Balin. Mayer walking in, center to the front, and the score! Chris Wagner, a one-time wonder, and it's Colgate, three RPI, one, 3-11 to go in the second. Austin Mayer making the play, the speed merchant out of Providence, Rhode Island. Flew right past Nick Balin, and then Chris Wagner coming in on the back door, just had to put a stick on the ice. And the youngster from Walpole, Mass, has his seventh goal of the season. And a huge break right there for Colgate. It's now a two-goal lead again. Mayer got the step on Balin. Beautiful pass. Wagner went right to the net front. Colgate, three RPI, one. And Kevin back by Prokow. Now Cullen runs into Bergdorf, but they'll start the rush for Rensselaer. Cullen in right wing side, spun around by Poploski, and Wade's going to sit for it. Then Bergdorfer comes in after the play is over and makes sure to finish off his check, but this was well after the whistle. Bergdorfer and uh, Malchuk, or excuse me, Day will have a chat. Bergdorfer was the one that came in after the play. He's not going to go to the box, but Poploski will. Good play by Wade. It was, it, it was a penalty. Wade tried to be as aggressive as possible. The RPI player ended up getting spun around and just kind of lost his, his feet. Had he not fallen down or the RPI player kept his feet, that might not have been a penalty. Poploski for tripping at one with 155 remaining in the second. Colgate leading 3-1 over RPI. Face off near side right offensive zone right. RPI two power play goals last night. Three special teams goals by Helfrich the senior. Helfrich midpoint, Balin. Balin left wing side, one time we're going to score. Palachuk wide open, Donovan furious on the bench, but it's now 3-2 RPI, scores on the power play. It's the same thing over and over, set up for Palachuk. That's his 11th power play goal of the year. And it's now a 3-2 game. Colgate's lead is trimmed to one, and Donovan is beside himself on the bench. And how do you not know where Chase Palachuk is on the ice if you're one of the four men out there? Tough break for the Raiders. It's now 3-2. Palachuk got the setup right wing side. One time blast is high past Mahalik. Raiders were a little too spread out. Again, it was set up in the middle, and then Palachuk was wide open on the left wing side. Nobody was even near him. He had about a good at least 10 feet of space right there. Kevin Mack, minded blue liner. RPI from right to left, diagonal pass, picked up by Andres Goulet. Chip shot, pad save. Rebound saved by Mahalik, and another save with a stick. Oh, goodness gracious, Mahalik standing on his head. Tremendous chance there by RPI as Andres Goulet created something out of nothing. And Mahalik keeping the Raiders in a one-goal lead right here. The snapshot initially was saved by the, nearly the toe of Mahalik. The rebound try, then he got a stick and a pad on it. Face off near side, left offensive zone left. 13-20 to play in the third. Colgate three, RPI two. He left to play in the third. The Raider unit on the ice is just purely exhausted. 4.50 left to go again. What happened on that last sequence? The Hollick was slightly out of position towards the front of the crease. The puck bound market. Soft bounce up the boards. Bergen knocks it down, and the puck will be carried out by Day. Two on one with Prokow. Day leads Prokow, driving that shoots, and he scores into the empty net. Nick Prokow with 1.11 to go in the third. It's Colgate, 4 RPI, 2, and the Raiders jubbling on the bench. It was team here. He has uh, kept Allen York on the bench, that said. 2.3 seconds left, and now the fans and mass to the exits. Breeze was second of the game. He and Prokow, two on the game. Puck is dropped. That'll do it. There will be a game three tomorrow night here at Houston Fieldhouse. The Colgate Raiders persevere, get two goals from Francois, Breeze Bois, Nick Prokow, and defeat the RPI engineers here in Troy, 5-2. to two. What a finish for the Raiders fans. We're going to step aside for a three-minute break to catch our breath. Raiders huddling around Eric Mahalik, high fives all around. RPI will salute their fans before going off to the locker room. 5-2 to two, Colgate, the final. The Raiders 4-1 in game two is with this senior class.